In this video, I want to show you seeking within media items in Reaper. I have a project set up here, and I want to seek during playback like this. If I hit play, and then we click in our ruler, it'll automatically seek or replay from that point like this. And that works by clicking in the ruler or the space above the tracks like this. It's a fix, bro. Get a cheap wood roll. Run a few miles. Stare too long. Go get lost. And we could change that behavior in the preferences. Go to options. And go down here to preferences. And scroll down to seeking. Right up here, we could choose where we could re seek during playback. The top ruler, the empty area of tracks, the empty area below tracks and also seeking on loop point change. But you'll notice we can't seek within media items. There's no option in here. So when we click within a media item, the cursor moves to that point, but it won't reseek during playback. It's fixing something that's been broken. We could hit stop and play again. It's fixing something that's Go get lost in a stare to But it won't reseek automatically like it does in the ruler. Stare to get to fix on a few miles. Go get lost and get to fix And if we make this track really big, like this, and zoom in, it can be kind of hard to have to move our cursor each time up here to the ruler. Fixing something that's been broke. Go get lost in a Sometimes we just want to click down here. Go get lost in a little town. But like I said, we can't reseek with a preference to choose. But we can do this if we create a custom action. So let's take a look. Let's go up here to actions, show action list, and let's search in the filter for transport play. And let's choose the transport play action right here. Then go down here to new action and choose new custom action. And that creates one with our transport play already set up as one of the steps in a custom action. Then we're gonna to go to the filter and type in skip action. There's a bunch of actions that show up that we could use for this purpose. This one down here which is hard to see, it's going to set the continuous controller parameter to plus one. Let's move over. If the action toggle state is enabled, or minus one if it's disabled. So let's move this over to here and put it above this one. And what's going to happen if our transport is stopped? It's going to ignore this option. So it's not going to play when we click in our item. It will only replay or reseek if we're already in playback. Then we'll add the action move edit cursor to mouse. And we'll choose the action down here, which is going to move the edit cursor to the mouse cursor. Put that next, then go back to another skip action. And this time we'll choose this one. Skip next action if continuous controller parameter is less than or equal to zero divided by mid. Basically, it's also going to skip the next action if the transport is also not in play mode. Otherwise, it'll reseek or play. Drag this over below here, and we're going to add another transport play right here. So, this custom action is going to reseek when we put our cursor inside a media item. Let's give it a name, media item seek, and then we'll save it, and it should show up right here. But we're not going to add a keyboard shortcut to it. Instead, we're going to apply it to our mouse modifiers. So let's close this, go back to our preferences, and scroll down to our mouse modifiers. Make sure we choose the context, media item, left click. 
And we can see by default, it's set up to select the item and move the edit cursor, which is what happens if we click into a media item right now. Just click it, it selects the item and moves the edit cursor. But we could change this to a custom action. Double click it and go down here to the action list. And then we're going to choose that custom action we just created. Double click it and it shows up right here. Now you could trigger it with different modifiers by putting it down here, but I'm going to choose it as the default action. Because as you'll see during stop mode, it's going to behave the same way as before. Save it. And now if we click on our item, it still behaves the same way. But the only difference is if we're already in playback. Check it out. Stare to wall. It's a fix. Go get wall. Stare to wall. It reseeks when we click in an area. And like I said, this is more helpful when our tracks are really big, like this. So we don't have to go up here to the ruler to reseek. We could do it right down here. It's fixing something that's been broke. Go get lost, get dressed up, and get both feet on. I'm gonna fill this to the top. So very quickly, we could jump around our project, reseeking along the way, without having to click in the area up here or the ruler. We could do it right down here in our item, while still getting the default behavior. We can still click in our items and it moves the cursor and selects the item. But during playback, Go get lost, get dressed up and it reseeks along the way. Get dressed up and get both feet on some soft ground. Get both feet. Which I find really useful when you're editing up close like this whether it be dialogue or lead vocals or anything, you might be editing with the waveform or the track this big. So that's pretty much it. That's Seeking Within Media Items in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.